Hey, friends and family from Ronnie's Farm to Table. It is windy outside. You can hear it on the wind chimes. You can see it in the yard. So today's plan will be, I have to get this trailer detached here. So we have the pickup ready for when the snow is coming. Then over here, you see that little trailer that I have there. That has to go in one of the buildings. I will not be able to bring it in town with this kind of wind. And then see what the mushrooms are up to. And get the farm ready for the storm coming in here over the next couple of days. So stay tuned, lots to do. Here we are in the little front room that has those sorted out bags. And Lucy's checking with me here. What's going on, huh, Lucy? Making sure that everything was growing nice. So let's see. Have we any activity? Yes, here we have activity. Look at that. There's a cluster forming right there. Some over here. How's the bottom moisture? Is that coming out? Not really. Yeah, you see that? Maybe if I well that that one is a lot lighter. Some of them got really light. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So once they recover themselves, I will bring them back into the fruiting tent. Good to know that I can kind of do this mechanism here, where I just put them in a really dry area and let them dry out a little bit, basically. So I want to go miss them quick. I don't need to record that for you. So one of my viewers mentioned something. Ronnie, where are your rings? Every time in the beginning of the video, when I do my thumbs up with the snap, you can see my ring. Reinbold was taking care of it while I was cleaning and wearing uh, the nitro gloves. So just so you know, my rigs are safe. He took care of them and I will put them right back on. All right. <laughs> Today I will be just shortly right on the road just to deliver the first public samples of my gourmet mushrooms. I'm so excited. Um, I, I, this is basically the start of my business. Before everything was just expenses up to here, but those samples, if the if the retailer that I'm going to will like it, I think it's a wonderful start. And the retailer that I'm going to will be wonderful live foods. I, I cannot imagine why they would not be interested in it. They have a really high organic, high quality food interest. And um, there's just nothing like this around here. The closest ones are in Winnipeg, Canada, or in, in New Hope, Minnesota. So there's a huge vacuum where there's just nothing like really fresh gourmet mushrooms in the Red River Valley. So those that will be my first stop and those are the first three bags I have ready. Um, there will be more coming here within the next couple of days. So I will probably be quite often out on the road into Grand Forks, seeing a couple of restaurants, a couple um, stores there and see where that adventure will take us. I'm so excited guys. I will check within you after the meeting at the Wonderful Live Foods in Crookston, Minnesota. The meeting went really good. I met with Sean, one of the co-owners of Wonderful Live Foods, and he's very interested. He's like, wow, those look amazing. And then he was looking at, what? They were planted at 1017 and they're already this big? That's, this is amazing. So he's going to sample some of them, test them out, cook with them, and we will be in touch for sure. So something that you see behind me here, this is the, one of the Crookston artists that made this. Um, he has quite some other arts around town, but it's cool. It's one of the buildings here. It was rather an ugly look to it, and he really made it beautiful. Alrighty, back to the farm. There's lots to do. Big announcement. I finally decided what to name this very room, room number two. I always call it the room number two because room number one is Berliner room. And it dawned on to me there's no other way to name it besides the Crookston Room. That's my little hometown here, um, Berlin. The Berliner Room is where I was born and the Crookston Room is where I grew up, basically. <laughs> Another thing, I was uh, rearranging a couple things in here. Right next to that big freezer chest was a piano and an organ sit in, sitting. And I was moving it over into this corner here where the whole collection is sitting. So I have space for something very specific on this little blue table. It will, I will be bringing it in an hour or so over here to the farm. I have to wrangle it in here, get it on that little table. But it's going to be something really cool. In an hour, in the next segment, you will see what it is. Also here is my little mixi mixing station where I mix the substrate, the straw and the wood pallets together. And I think it's a lot easier right next to the sauna where they're going to go. 
and I have only this little area to clean versus go behind me here where I did last time, make that area all dirty and then it will be makes just a lot more sense this way. So, alrighty, stay tuned. Next segment, you will see what's gonna go on that little tiny blue table here. So exciting. In the crooks the room, and boy, they are here. For the untrained eye, you might think, it looks like a washing machine with some trays in it. But for the trained eye, you realize what a treasure is sitting right here. Um, those are deep freeze dehydrators. And behind me here are vacuum pumps. They're gonna be all hooked up later, probably tomorrow. And the cool thing about these guys is, when I have too much produce, I can freeze dry them really quickly and still keep the value of the mushroom. It goes rather quick and it's super efficient. And then with the dried mushrooms, I can sell them as they are, or I can even make them into a little powder and sell them as a powder. There's a huge movement going on right now where people are replacing their coffee with a mushroom powder out of seven mushrooms. And, and it, people are saying that, that that's the bee's knees. So I'm so amazed about those guys and I'm really, really thankful that my dad bought those several years ago with his business partner for his hemp production. Unfortunately, that business never worked out for them, but those are so expensive and I wouldn't have been able to afford them within several years of running a successful mushroom farm. So I've got really lucky and I'm a fortunate son, I would say, that I was able to score these for my production coming up here. How amazing. I, I, I cannot wait until I have some mushrooms to test them out. So, all right, that's what happened on the blue table. On to the next thing. It's your favorite segment. What's up, Marsh? Let's check on the mushrooms in the dark tent and then afterwards in the growing tent. The ones here in the dark tent, they're from yesterday, from the bagging. They're all brand new in there, so let's see, maybe within 24 hours, we already can see the start of colonization, which would be amazing. So, time to get in my sterile lab outfit. Ka-ching! I did it again. I'm already all disinfected. However, I'm gonna do my hands again, just to be sure. Also, my rings are protected by Rein Reinhardt. This is Reinhardt, yep, they're up here. I hope I don't forget him again. My wife always gets a little bit sad when she doesn't see me wearing the wedding ring, so I hope I'll remember. Let's go check what's going on in the dark tent. The only ones that I see activity in are the oyster varieties. They're just champions. Look at them. They're already colonizing those little spots here. That was the grain that I put in and they're already reaching out to the substrate trying to colonize it. Yep, very good. I didn't see any contamination, which is awesome. Next up, let's go in the growing tent. I put a white light in there so it doesn't look so pinkish all the time. Let's see how it looks on the camera. A little bit better. Alrighty, those are the harvested ones from two days ago. Let's check back here in that corner. Those are coming. Oh, there's a big cluster coming on this one, lovely. Down here's the lion's mane. Let's take a look. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Wow, the one behind it is just growing and growing. Must really love this environment. There we go. These are coming too. Wonderful, there's one coming. Look at that little guy. There was nothing really here yesterday on this guy. Here are some more coming. Those are the golden oysters. No activity here, no activity here. Back here we have the white oysters. Let me pull them out. They're also called Italian summer oysters. 
they look cool they are just growing really happily yep. here's another white oyster one it's finally decided to show up to the party back there is a little novel you guys have not had any activity. This guy is trying to come out. Let me assist you. There. Doop, doop, doop. Cool. So that's the update from inside the growing room. Very excited about it. Things are coming together. All right. Well, folks, it was a great day. We got a lot of things done and I'm so excited about the deep freezer. Uh, that, that's gonna be so cool because when I use it, I'm gonna be able to do a whole bunch of things. Powders, just have them frozen themselves, uh, dehydrated themselves. Uh, it's a little bit raining right now and we're gonna bring Kaiser in so he doesn't get too wet in the cold. He, it's a good day. I was able to move a couple things around the farm Time to go inside? Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> yep, and I also prepared for the snow coming in with brooms and snow shovels everywhere. So thank you again so much for watching. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Let's see what we can get done tomorrow. Bye.